Well, good Saturday morning, YouTube world. Welcome to In the Kitchen with Tally Faye. Hope everybody's having a wonderful morning this morning. It's so nice here. The weather's changing. And it's so cool outside. I don't know. It was in the 50s, high 50s or something. Hey, that is wonderful. That is wonderful. It'll make you feel like a million bucks. I hope everybody's having a good Saturday. Um, I'm getting in here, y'all. I got a lot of cooking to do today, so... I'm going to be driving y'all crazy. You're going to be like, girl, please stop. <laughs> I'm going to be putting out some videos. So, as long as my body can take it, right? I'll get in here and get to working, y'all, until I'm just exhausted. I don't know. Anyway, I just love cooking. Okay. First thing I'm going to get started on this morning is my apple pie. Do y'all know how to make just a regular old homemade apple pie? Okay. Well, the first thing that's not going to be homemade is the pie crust today. I don't have time. So, you can make you a pie crust. I'm going to show y'all a video on uh, uh, making pie crust in your food processor when I get a chance. But today, we're going for the bulk pie crust, okay? And you need to get them out and let them start cooling, uh, warming up a little bit. So, you can, they are more flexible and pliable, right? So, I got them sitting to the side. But now, the, and there's no, I'm not measuring this today on this pie. I want y'all to see that you do not have to measure this, okay? No measuring on your apple pie. But you'll be proud of yourself to take it somewhere and tell them, I made this. This is a homemade apple pie, okay? So I've already got to jump on my apples and stuff. And normally, y'all, uh, around six apples, give or take, is how many it takes to make a pie you know just and the thing is depending on what size the apples are i've put four in them before and i've put eight so i'm just telling you it depends on what size your apples are well i come across these big old honey crisp apples i do not like to use the um delicious reds in my apple pie i just don't they're don't think i won't if i got some in a bowl and i need to use them or whatever i, I will but it's just the Honeycrisp and the Granny Smiths and the Pink Ladies that I can just think of off the top of my head. Um, gotta watch my cornbread. Um, they're the good tart ones for making a pie with, okay? So this morning, I, these, like I said, these are the, um, what did I say? Da 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 da. Anyway, Honeycrisp. These are some big old apples, y'all. So I ended up. I only had to put, uh, I think it was four in here. It might be five. I don't think so. I think it's four of these big boogers in here because that made me a big bowl of apple slices. And I got them sliced like that, y'all, okay? So I peeled them, quartered them, cut the core out, and then I sliced them up. I washed them first. I always wash my vegetables everybody and fruits. People been handling them in the store. Anyway... I washed them first. Then I did the little peeling regimen thing. So now that I have them sliced, y'all, what I am going to do is get me some lemon juice. Okay? I'm going to get me some lemon juice. Just If you got a fresh lemon, that's fine. But this is, you can just take some bottled lemon juice and you're just going to take it and just sprinkle it all over these apples. Okay? There you go, okay? Now, I wanna toss them around in it. Get them coated with that lemon juice. And we're gonna let this sit here a minute and get into those apples. And this will help them keep from turning dark and give them even that much more tartness in the pie, okay? Make sure you get them all coated in it good let me check my cornbread, y'all. Oh, yeah. Hold on a minute. Y'all give me a minute here. I'm multitasking this morning. Got a lot going on. Okay. Cornbread's out of the oven. Back to the pie. Okay, so I've got my apples um, coated in the, sh in the lemon juice. Now, we're going to get out some sugar and some cinnamon and 
You know, like people like to use other, there's all kind of, I may even have an apple pie spice in here. Y'all give me a minute. I'm going to dig in my pan, in my spice cabinet and see if I got one of those little McCormick um, apple pie spices. Those are good. So, if not, just get you some sugar and cinnamon, okay? And uh, some cornstarch. That's what we're going to need. Okay, so I didn't have, or I couldn't find it anyway, the apple pie spice. But, I do have a little bit of the allspice. Now, you've got to be very careful with it, but the hint of it in there is just so delicious, y'all. Okay? Now, what I want to show you, I guess I'll get some kind of cup to kind of give you a measurement. Okay? Let's see. All right, I'm going to get my little one cup measure here, and we're going to get the sugar. And y'all, what I'm going to do, and I like to do this because I can see by the color of it, and I want to grind up my cornstarch with my sugar and stuff in here so I don't have any lumps in it. So I like to get me a little, just a little cereal bowl, you know, and we're going to put our sugar and our cinnamon and our um, cornstarch in here and whatever else you might want to put in your apple pie for your spices, okay? And we're going to stir around in here and then we're going to dump it on our apples. But that way we'll be able to look in here and see the color of it and see how much, you know, so you don't get too much. Or make sure you got enough, okay? So, on the sugar, we're going to say, all right, let me do this. One. I'm going to put two cups in there, y'all, okay? Two cups. We're going to start with that. Now, I'm just going to get this teaspoon out of here because I really don't. Okay, I don't know that I'm going to put. You don't want to override the flavor of your apples, right? You know, so it's a. Okay, so I've got a teaspoon there, but I'm going to shake this in here. Well, okay, we got a teaspoon in it, y'all. And now, for me, on this allspice, look, I'm just going to tap me just a little bit in my hand there, y'all. That ain't even, I don't know, but I think. That will be a hint of it in there. I'm certain it will. So, you just kind of play with that a little bit, right? Now, on the cornstarch. Let me get me a tablespoon for that, y'all. We're going to put us... There's one. Come out of there. I'm going to put three tablespoons in there because I want this pie to be able to slice. Okay? There we go. That way it'll thicken up enough that it will uh, slice when you get ready to serve it. Okay? Now, let's just get us a little spoon here. And we're going to stir this up together. Y'all, I can make a mess. I swanny. I'm just that person. And see, I want to get it stirred up, get all that cornstarch stirred up in there, and get them lumps out of it. <laughs> okay, so maybe I should have got a little bit bigger bowl. Okay, we're going to do it so I don't have to keep doing that. That's my bad, y'all. There we go. Okay, get you a big enough bowl that you can handle it. There we go. Now we're fixing to get on with the program. Okay. Now, oh yeah, I can smell the allspice in there. And we know it's got plenty of cinnamon. So, see, it's light, light, light brown. Light brown. Hey, how much cinnamon you want in there, right? But I'm just saying, if you get too much, it ends up overriding your apple flavor. So, you know, that's up to you. But here we go. We're going to just dump this all over our apples. Okay? Now, we're going to stir them around in this. Get them coated. 
And we are gonna set this off to the side and let it make some juice, y'all. We gotta let it make some juice. Every now and then, walk over there and do this. Give it a stir. Get on with something else. Just let this set, okay? And then just go over there and give it a stir every now and then. And you will have you some juice going on in there before you know it. And then we'll take it and put it up in our pie crust. But for now, there it is. That's what it looks like right now, okay? I'm going to set this and my pie crust off to the side. And we will um, come back after that gets the juice on it that I want. And we will put these in here. And I'm going to try, y'all. I don't know if it'll work or not. But I'm going to try my little... Uh, my niece got me this little roller with the patterns in it. I might try this just for the fun of it. We'll see, though, okay? But we'll be back on that after a while. Let's get some juice made up in these apples first. Alrighty, y'all. So it's been a couple of hours since I set these apples out. And I wanted you to see how much juice. That's why you got to give them time. But... Look how much juice is in there. That's going to make some good stuff in that pie. And we've got three tablespoons of cornstarch in there. That ought to be good enough to make it cuttable. And if it ain't, they'll eat it anyway, y'all. I promise you. But there's our apples, okay? Now, like I said, I, uh, you know, I'm using the store-bought pie crust right now because I don't have time for other, but I did take it and roll it out because I got a big, one of these big uh, pie plates because I got a lot of apples in there. You don't have to do this when you're um, making one, baking it with a filling in it, but I do it every time just out of pure habit, so that's up to you. But anyway, I rolled this out some more to make it bigger so I could get it in this big, big pan here because we're going to try to do this fun thing with this with this little pattern thing on the top and see if it works or not for me. Y'all know I don't do pretty food. <laughs> Any old who. Our apples are ready to go in there, y'all. That lemon juice kept them bright and it keeps them, helps keep them crunchy too. But look at that kind of goodness right there. I have my oven preheated, y'all, on 325 right now. Because we want to cook this, cook this slow for a little while and let those apples have time to bake, right? So, there is our apples in there and the, all the good juice with our pie crust on it. I'm going to go ahead and get my... Go ahead and get my um, cookie sheet. Because y'all know I'm going to do that. All right, there's that. Now, let's do this fun part thingy here. I don't know how to get y'all up close. Let me move this. Maybe, maybe I can get y'all up close enough to see if that little pattern thing rolls out on here. All right. If it don't work, we're just going to put it on there ugly. Just saying. Okay? All right, I got me some flour on here already. Because I'm going to roll it out bigger, just like I did the other one, right? And I've had these sitting out all this time, y'all, so they'd be pliable where I could work with them, okay? But I know I need it bigger than this. Okay? Alright, first thing I want to do is take it and roll it out with this one. Where I want it big enough for my top. And y'all, this is taking extra time to do. You don't have to try to do anything like this. I'm just doing this for the fun of it. Just because I want to, okay? But, there we go. That ought to be plenty big enough. Now, I don't know if I should put... I'm going to put some flour on it because I don't know. I really don't. I have never... Never used these before. All right, I want that extra flour off of there. All right. Here I go, y'all. I'm going to 
Oh my goodness. How fine looking. Ah! Okay. Okay, y'all can't see that from there. I'll show it. I'll take the camera down in a minute, but let me. I guess you just come right back on over it. Oh my goodness, how fun is this? Y'all look. Let's see if I can get you off here. Look at it up close. Can you see it? I hope you can. Isn't that cool? Oh, that's going to be so fun. <laughs> okay. Let me get us back up here now. All right. There's our pretty top. We got to get it on there now, y'all. I'm going to roll it up here. Uh-oh. Let me back you up again. I'm going to roll it up here like this real gently. Okay? Now. Get my pie over here. All right. Let's see. I'm going to take it. Let it hang over there. <laughs> oh, how fun! Deborah Lynn's gonna be so happy Aunt Faye used her little rolling pin she got me. Okay, I'm gonna take this extra crust. All right, y'all can see I got it because I rolled it out bigger, right? But I'm gonna take this extra crust and I'm just gonna tuck it under here and pinch it in with the other one, okay? So I'm gonna go around and just keep tucking it, tucking it under there, and then pinch it down with the other one. That's how I'm gonna do it. Y'all know I don't do pretty, but we're gonna try to make it. Try our best. Cause I got a lot of hangover crust there, but that gives you plenty on the that'll be good on your bites, on your slice, right? Okay. Do it just like that, and I'm tucking it under. Just tuck it under there. We'll see if that stays on there when you bake it. I guess it will. I don't know why it wouldn't, but I have no idea, y'all. Y'all know I don't do stuff like that. But my niece got me that thing. And I was like, okay, I'll try it. I'll try it. <laughs> She's going to be happy. Especially if it turns out pretty after it's baked. What I can tell y'all is, whether it's pretty or not, it's going to be good. It's going to be delicious, y'all. Good old home-baked apple pie with a cheating crust on it today. But it's so easy to make a homemade apple pie, y'all. To me, that's probably one of the easiest homemade fruit ones to make. Okay. Now, kind of folding it over the edges there where, it'll, where it won't sink down back in there. Pull back in when it's baking, right? Okay. Let me put it down here and I'll show y'all up close one more time. Look at the pattern on it. <laughs> Okay, so now, I guess I need to cut my little slit thingy in there. We're just going to do one right in the middle, okay? I'm just going to do that, and that, and that, and that. And that's our air holes. That's all we're going to do. All right, now, I'm going to put my little pie ring on here. If you don't have one of these, get you some foil. Get you some foil and put around there very gently like. And this thing ain't ever big enough for me to finish that side on this big pie pan. So I have to get my foil anyway. And just do me a little smidgen of it right there on my edge. Because that will keep your crust from burning, okay? I don't like for my crust to be burnt on the edges of my pie. I just don't. I don't like that. I never have liked that taste. 
Okay. There we go, y'all. I'm going to put this thing in the oven, and I'm going to leave it in there for a good hour, probably, uh, with it baking at 325, and then I will turn the oven up to uh, probably like 375 and finish browning it on the top where it's doing all that. But 325 right now, and I'm going to just let it cook for 45 minutes to an hour, okay? Alrighty, y'all. I just got it out of the oven. You can't see the little patterns in it. Barely. I guess you can see some of them. But there it is on the stand. It's a pretty pie. About pretty as Tally Faye's gonna make, I can tell you that. But one thing we know, look at that goodness down in there. Yeah, buddy. It just quit bubbling. But I wanted y'all to see it. And uh, that's gonna be the apple pie for this evening, y'all. It's easy to make, y'all. It is so easy to make. Don't be scared of it. I love you guys, and I'll see you next time in the kitchen with Tally Faye.